Hey guys, this is the Investors Channel where investors come for stock recommendations and financial news. And today, we're going to talk about the iPhones. They're actually not in as much demand now because people are holding on to their iPhones longer. People like me. This phone is about like um, five or six years old. It still works. I can still make a call with this phone and I can still text. Also, the newer phones are just getting bigger or smaller now. Not really much difference from the previous phones, but price is still expensive as well. If you can get a similar phone from last year, even if it's pre-owned, you still have a lot of the same features. And also the phones are costing more in other countries like India because the dollar is getting stronger. So the stronger the dollar gets, the more rupees a dollar constitutes to. So right now one dollar is about 69 Indian rupees. The way the dollar strength is making the iPhones more expensive in other parts of the world. While the demand for the new iPhones are down and Apple is not making as many sales on the iPhones, while people are holding onto their phones longer, making the newer iPhones sell in lower volumes, Apple still has other streams of income, like Apple Pay, Apple Music, and iTunes. Those are just to name three, and they are coming up with a streaming service to, that can compete with Netflix and Amazon Prime. Now, Apple is looking to put some high-quality content in their streaming service, and they are working with celebrities like Oprah Winfrey. And now, Apple's planning to have the service in 100 countries. Now, some analysts think that Apple will have free TV shows and free access to uh, all the shows to anyone who has Apple products, just as a ploy to get them to buy the Apple products. However, they may be able to do it and make money once, but how they keep on making money afterwards. If, if many people already have like one Apple product and then uh, they don't need to buy another one, then after that they probably wouldn't make as much money to still be profitable. Other people think that they may also have some content from HBO, Stars, and other streaming services, like a little bit of content from them, and then they may get a commission when somebody signs up with one of the services. However, I think the latter one is more realistic, although I have some feeling that Apple will completely create its own streaming service and have some of, some exclusive shows. They, well, at least they'll try to do it. And if they're not successful doing that, they may just try to earn a commission from HBO and other streaming services because the streaming field is getting crowded now. Now you have AT&T joining in, you have Disney joining in, and you have like a whole bunch of companies joining in the streaming service. And Apple will probably struggle with exclusive content. Disney will probably not struggle with exclusive content because now they own all the rights to Star Wars. They had Mickey Mouse and they, ha they have a whole bunch of films they're pulling off Netflix and it will be exclusive to Disney+. Plus. However, Apple will have a hard time creating exclusive content that people will sign up with their service just for it. Now, they st now don't forget guys, they still have Apple Pay and a whole bunch of other services I mentioned before. And they have 30 million subscribers on Apple Music. While you might have missed the run-up Apple has had in the last four years, it is certainly not too late to collect a dividend. However, since I already have shares of Apple, which I bought for $100, it wouldn't make sense for me to buy more at these prices because I'm just increasing my cost per share basis. <clears throat> also, yes, I have enjoyed a run-up as well, on this, and I've collected dividends on the stock for the last four years. However, guys, I would say if you don't have shares of Apple yet, you can, you can still buy them, but it would make sense more to keep them as a forever stock, like for the long term, maybe 10, 20, because you've already missed most of the run-up. Now, there's still a little bit of run-up potential, but it's not as much as it was in 2014. Where when people thought that since Steve Jobs wasn't there anymore, that Apple wouldn't be able to innovate, but Steve Jobs picked Tim Cooks because he would be able to innovate. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. 
subscribe with bell notifications so you never miss out on another video, comment letting me know if you have any questions or concerns, and share. Once again, this is the Investors Channel where investors come for stock recommendations and financial news.